This is the grade 5 math practice test for T and Ready, question number 16. We are in a calculator allowed section, so that's sort of nice. Um, question 16 says, a rectangular container has a square base with an area of 25 square inches. The container has a height of 4 inches. What is the volume in cubic inches of the container? Now, the first thing you have to understand about volume is that it's a three-dimensional measure. It's not just, like, generally speaking, when you have your rectangles or what have you. It's two dimensions. I have the length here and then I have the width. That's all I've got. Adding an additional dimension changes things. So when I try to find volume, I want to know how many essentially one by one units can fit inside a three-dimensional figure. So in order to calculate that, the easiest way to do is figure out what the volume or what the area of the base is. So imagine having a cup of some sort. You're going to have to lie to yourself and pretend this looks anything like a cup. I know it doesn't. Let's say you have a cup here. If you fill up the bottom of the cup, that's the area just th extremely thin. That area amount is, or filling up the bottom of the cup would be the area of the base. And really, you're just measuring how many times you have to fill up that same space over and over on top of itself until you get all the way up to the top. That's how volume is determined. So if they tell us the area of the base, all we have to do is multiply it by the height. Because instead of adding it over and over again, I just multiply it by how tall it is. It says 25 square inches, so that means this piece right here is 25 inches squared. And it's a square unit because in this case it actually is a square, but um, that's nice. Which would mean this is 5 by 5, incidentally enough, but you don't need to know that. So all I need to do now that I understand what the volume of the base is, remember, we're just going to fill it up. We're going to put another 25 and another one, another one, another one. We're going to do that the number of times it tells us to get to the height. Inches, inches. So all we have to do is multiply it by 4. So 25 times 4 is equal to 100. It may just ask for the number, it may ask for inches cubed, but it doesn't, it specifically mentions inches cubed here. What is the volume in inches cubed of the container? So I would say you'd be fine just to put 100 in there and be good to go. But if it asks for the units, put the units, do whatever it asks you to do. So remember, when we're finding volume of something, all we really need to do is figure out how to fill up the bottom of the shape. So what's the area of the base? Big area, big A is area of the base. And by that, I mean big B. I don't know what I'm thinking. We call this big baby B when I was a high school teacher. Big baby B times the height. And big baby B represents what it takes to fill up the bottom. The height just tells us how many times we need to fill up the bottom until we get all the way to the top. So there you go.